Hi everyone, David here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video. Um, and I uh, hope you're all doing well. I hope you're doing better than me because, uh, yeah, despite my best efforts, COVID finally got me. So I've been stuck in my house for the last uh, 10 days, which has not really been great. Um, symptoms are pretty bad in the first few days, but um, I got vaccinated three times. So um, hopefully that's helped with recovery time and got some good medicine from my doctor. So I was happy about that. Um, so if I'm a bit stuffy today, that's why. <laughs> so yeah, please take care, please get vaccinated. Um, please be careful, even though things are, I guess, getting easier in other countries, not in Japan. We're in a, like a mega peak at the moment. Um, but enough about that, I'm gonna talk about music today. Um, see if I can take your minds off anything awful that's going on. Um, I wanna kind of introduce you to some music from different parts of Japan. Um, I did a kind of video about this before, put the thumbnail here. Um, when I did my Japanese Eurovision video, um, I tried to talk about how that would work. I mean, we have 47 prefectures in Japan and um, a lot of famous acts come from various different prefectures. So yeah, that, that might work, right? Um, no plans for that at the moment, but uh, I thought I'd continue that theme a little bit and try to introduce you to some uh, different artists and different types of music from different places in Japan. Um, and uh, I thought that was interesting. So I hope it's interesting for you too. Um, before we start though, please subscribe and please share this video if you have find someone who's interested in Japanese music. I'm so close to my 400 subscribers target for August. Um, I think we're 390 at the moment, so please uh, help me with the final push. This is the last week. Um, yeah, I guess that's all for that. Uh, so please, yeah, subscribe. Um, today's video, I said it's going to be about music, but just let you know what this is not going to be. It's not a, a complete catalogue of all the famous artists from every prefecture. I couldn't really find um, enough artists from every prefecture that I could talk about confidently. Uh, of course, I can look some stuff up Wikipedia if you want, but that's not going to be very interesting and um, not interesting for me to say, not interesting for you to listen to probably. Um, so I've, I think I've got about 31, 32 prefectures uh, with different artists from those. Um, I just pick one from each prefecture. This does not mean that this is the you know, quote unquote best one from each prefecture. Um, it's one that I like and I wanted to talk about. So um, do your own digging if you disagree with that. And so please be kind in the comments. This is just my personal opinion. Um, there are lots of different uh, genres of music in Japan and I wanted to kind of show a bit of diversity there. Um, I'm not an expert on this kind of thing. I've just kind of worked it out as I went along. So yeah, I hope it's interesting anyway. Um, maybe some artists pop up that you wouldn't have normally thought about. So yeah, that's my that's my goal for today. Um, so I'm gonna get ready and um, set up for the big slideshow. So see you on the other side. Okay, so let's start our musical voyage of Japan. I wanted to cover a lot of prefectures and a lot of genres. So let's start with one of the biggest ones. Of course, Tokyo Prefecture. Um, I could have chosen all, all manner of uh, artists from Tokyo Prefecture, but I went with Mr. Children. who are probably one of the biggest artists in uh, Japanese history at the moment. Um, they've sold tens of millions of records. They're kind of a softer rock um, type style, especially these days. And they do a lot of soundtracks for movies and um, dramas. Uh, that's kind of a seal of approval for your movie if you get a Mr. Children's soundtrack. So check out Hanabi. Um, they've got a long back catalogue, so check them out. But Hanabi's my favourite one to start with. Uh, speaking of back catalogues, in Guma Prefecture, we've got Back Number, who, in a similar vein, they have um, they do a lot of soundtrack work. Especially they've got a bit more of a sentimental, romantic sound to them, so they're good for the romantic dramas. Uh, so check out Happy End or Christmas Song. Uh, they're my uh, recommendations. Um, in Yamanashi Prefecture, I don't know if these are such a famous band, but uh, Remy or Romin um, are famous for their big hit, Konoyuki, from about 20 years ago. Um, I just like this song and um, I don't often get into the rock music that much. Um, I mean, this is quite soft, soft rock stuff, so um, yeah, definitely check that one out as well. I don't really know that much about them, but uh, I need someone from Yamanashi Prefecture, so there we go. Um, a bit more modern, we've got Green. I don't know how long to keep that E sound. They've got four E's in their name. Um, but the interesting thing about this uh, Fukushima group is that nobody knows who they are. Uh, they've got their careers. I think they're dentists or something like that. Um, but they want to keep their privacy so they can keep working. Uh, they do tour as well. I think they have big screens or something like that so they can protect their identity. Uh, but they're a very popular uh, rock band as well. So check out Ayuta. That'd be a good place to start. Uh, going a little bit further north, we've got uh, Miyagi's Monkey Magic. You might know that name from um, the, the TV show, the same name. Um, these are actually kind of an international group because I think some of the members are from Canada or they're uh, kind of 
half Canadian, half Japanese, I'm not sure. But they do a lot of English language music as well. Um, they're not massively successful these days, but uh, yeah, definitely check them out. They've got a big following, um, especially both sides of the Pacific. So check out Around the World. Um, I wanted to talk about Hokkaido as well. Um, one of my favorite new groups, or well, they're not new group, but I'm, they're new to me, <laughs> is uh, Sakan Action. Uh, I mentioned them in the Eurovision video too. Uh, their song Shin Takarajima is definitely one to recommend. Kind of gives me a bit of a, I don't know, kind of a 90s Britpop vibe sometimes. Um, but aside from rock music, they do dabble with a bit of electronic stuff as well. So yeah, very interesting group. Um, definitely check them out. Speaking of electronic music, I have to talk about Perfume from Hiroshima, um, the three-piece girl group who are getting, they've got quite an international following too, because they do a bit of touring as well in other countries. Uh, even do festivals like Coachella as well. Um, they're one of my favorite groups of all time. Uh, I'm lucky enough to see them um, in concert next month. So hopefully uh, that'll, be, that'll be good, not be canceled or anything. Uh, so check out Spring of Life. They've got a, a great back catalog as well. They've just got a new, um, a new album called Plasma as well. Check that out. Uh, or if that's a bit too poppy for you, you can check out their producer, which is Capsule. Um, I can't remember what the guy's name is, uh, Yasutaka. Tanaka, maybe? Nakada? I, I forgot his name, sorry. Um, but he's the producer for Perfume and uh, Kali Pamu Pamu, uh, as well as having his own career. Uh, he's from Ishikawa Prefecture. And if you're looking for something a bit kind of more chilled out, then uh, yeah, check out his back catalogue. There's a lot of interesting stuff there. Um, going a bit more kind of mainstream, I guess we've got Yoasobi from Yamaguchi Prefecture. Um, they're a very kind of hmm, what can I say, artistic group, I guess. Um, electronic pop music. Uh, with uh, a lot of care goes into their stories as well, uh, as well as their music videos. They're very sort of vibrant, animated videos. Um, I think one of the members is there is from Yamaguchi Prefecture as well, so uh, Jeff, definitely check out Yoru ni Kakeru. Uh, that's one of my favourite songs of theirs. Uh, if you're looking for more kind of contemporary singer-songwriters, then uh, check out Fuji Kaze. Uh, he's kind of breaking through at the moment. He's from Okayama. Um, he had a big song a few years ago, Kidari, and it looks like he's kind of on the way up. So yeah, check him out as well. He's playing kind of big gigs now. Uh, he, I think he became famous as a YouTube, um, YouTube covers artist before. Now he's um, kind of major label uh, you know, pop star. So yeah, check him out. Um, in a similar vein, we've got Yuri from Chiba Prefecture. Um, he had a massive song, Dry Flower, uh, last year or two years ago. Um, so he's on the, on the up and up as well. Uh, as well as a um, huge artist from Hyogo Prefecture, Ai Myo. Um, she is a female singer-songwriter as well. She's done a lot of massively successful hits, um, as well as soundtrack songs and uh, songs for other people as well. So definitely check her out. Um, especially Haraka no Kokoro. Uh, that was a um, uh, soundtrack to one of the morning dramas on NHK, I believe. So yeah, definitely check that out. And one of the massive artists in Japan at the moment is uh, Yonez Kenshi from the fairly rural Tokushima prefecture in Shikoku. Um, he's had so much success these days, um, but I guess you can start with his breakout song, Lemon. Um, but yeah, definitely check out. He's got a lot of interesting stuff on uh, in his back catalogue. Um, kind of a, I don't know, earlier version of Yonez Kenshi, I guess, would be Hirai Ken. Um, again, kind of male singer-songwriter from Mie prefecture. Uh, I think he kind of became famous during the 90s, but he's still got a career these days. Uh, definitely check out his if you're looking for something a bit more, um, I don't know, adult contemporary stuff, I guess. I don't know what to call that, but um, I don't want to say old fashioned because it sounds a bit rude, but uh, yeah, a little older style. But he's, he's doing a lot of modern stuff now as well. Uh, if we go all the way down to Nagasaki in Kyushu, we've got Misha. Um, I didn't know that much about her, but I noticed her name mentioned a lot, and she did the closing ceremony of, was it the Olympics or the Paralympics? I'm not, not totally sure. She's got an amazing voice, uh, really powerful. So check out uh, Aitakute Ima from her. Now, of course, I have to talk about Osaka at some point. Um, there's a lot of artists I could have chosen. You might think it's a bit strange for me to choose Suda Masaki, because he's um, more well-known as an actor than a singer, but he does have a pretty uh, huge uh, singing career at the moment as well. He had a, had a lot of breakthrough hits these days. He's kind of um, yeah at his peak at the moment. So definitely check out Sayonara Ereji. I like some of his music. So um, yeah, that's one of my Osaka pick this time. But speaking of uh, actors, singers, uh, I've got to talk about Hoshino Gen as well from Saitama Prefecture. Um, he's 
massively successful in both fields as an actor and as a, um, a singer, uh, especially his breakthrough. I'd say Koi was probably his breakthrough song, very kind of upbeat and um, it's not quite city pop um, as a as a genre, if I want to say that, but um, he's definitely got the same vibes as a kind of jazzy, poppy uh, artist and yeah, always got something interesting up his sleeve. So check out Hoshino again. We're talking about soundtracks as well. I've got to talk about uh, Rad Wimps from Kanagawa Prefecture. Uh, they did a massively successful soundtrack to one of the biggest anime movies of all time, which was um, Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name in English. Uh, so their soundtrack song Zen 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 Se was so popular and they, they did the whole score for that as well which I love listening to when I was studying so check them out um, if you're into soundtracks though you have to talk about uh, Hisai Shijo um, he is famous for doing soundtracks for most of the Studio Ghibli movies including One Summer's Day which was from uh, Spirited Away um, so definitely check out his, his real part of Studio Ghibli I guess um, part of their identity I think um, I have to talk about video games too a little bit. So the soundtracks to a lot of the Final Fantasy games was done by Uematsu Nobuo. Um, so I've chosen one of the songs from Final Fantasy X uh, for this, but he's, I really want to go and see one of the kind of orchestra shows of their, their um, kind of Final Fantasy music that's getting popular these days and very expensive to get into, I've heard as well. So one day, hopefully. Um, going on to some more traditional music then, I have to talk about Enka a little bit, which is the really um, nostalgic traditional Japanese music from, I guess, well, the traditional instruments, they're from the 50s and before that. Uh, so Ishikawa Sayuri from Kumamoto, uh, she's like the queen of Enka. Um, so especially that song there, uh, Tsugaru Kaikyo Fugugeshiki, uh, uh, that's one of the biggest uh, Enka songs of all time, so definitely check that out. Um, very nostalgic, very sad, um, kind of a bit like a French like chanson kind of songs. Uh, so check out Enka if you're so inclined. But going back into a kind of more harder rock, I suppose, I have to talk about Lisa. Um, I was talking about soundtracks before. Um, Kimi no Nawa was a huge uh, movie, but even bigger was the Kimetsu no Yaiba uh, movie, which was, um, which is the biggest grossing Japanese movie of all time. Um, and Lisa has done a lot of the soundtracks to the uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer uh, movies and um, the, uh, the anime series as well. So check out Gurenge, which was one of the first uh, opening themes. That was a massive hit a few years ago. And going to some more harder rock, um, I, I want to talk about My Hair Is Bad, mostly because I really like the name of their, <laughs> their group. They're from Niigata Prefecture. Um, I, don't, I, I must confess, I don't really know a lot about them apart from their name. Uh, but I was researching them and I, I remembered Makka, uh, that's one of the songs I, I recognised. That's pretty good too, so check that out. Another name I really wanted to say was the Oral Cigarettes from Nara. That's such a, I don't know why I like that name so much. Um, they've done some famous soundtracks too. Uh, this is a bit more harder rock than I normally listen to, so um, hopefully that's good for somebody. So Kyoran, Hey Kids, that's uh, my place to start, I think. If you want something a bit more, uh, a bit more poppy and a bit more fun, um, you can go back to the 70s or the 80s and see Pink Lady from Shizuoka. Um, just as, just to kind of nosing through stuff on YouTube, I stumbled upon these and they did some kind of interesting cover versions of uh, Western hits like um, British Peoples in the Navy. Um, but they've done some hits of their own. They were massively successful in the 70s, so um, yeah, check them out. Kind of very cute pop uh, duo. Um, speaking of, I think there's a duo as well, the Superfly from Ehime Prefecture. Um, they're a massive group as well. Uh, great, amazing, powerful vocals, so check out Beautiful uh, if you have a chance, definitely check them out. And talk about powerful vocals, I have to talk about official Hige Dandism, um, or Hige Dan for short. They, they want to rise at the moment, they're doing so well, um, so successful with their uh, kind of pop breakthrough hits. Not really sure what kind of genre I can define them as, but they've got a big pop vocal. The main guy, he's got a really huge range of um, like high tones you can do. Um, so they're from Shimano Prefecture. Uh, check out Pretender, that's the first one, or Universe is good too. Or if you're a fan of Spy Family, uh, the anime series, then check out Mixed Nuts as well, that's their latest hit. Um, I have to talk about pop music, uh, some of the big pop players in Japanese history. They've got some big pop girls, um, including Koda Kumi from Kyoto Prefecture. Um, she had a bit of a revival recently with um, Megumi no Hito, which got kind of remixed and uh, reused in TikToks. These days, I've noticed some Japanese TikTok, so uh, good on her. 
but she's done a few soundtracks as well and uh, she's she was kind of a force to be reckoned with during the 2000s. Um, speaking of which then, yeah, probably the biggest uh, pop success from Japan is uh, Amuro Namie uh, from Okinawa Prefecture. She retired recently but she's got a huge back catalogue of famous hits. Um, I know she's more famous for her later kind of more, um, I don't know, more ballady work. <laughs> but um, when I was listening to her best of CD, I really got into some of her early like Eurodance roots. So Body Feels Exit is one of the big ones I liked a lot. Might not be a usual pick, I guess, but uh, that's, yeah, that's just me. Um, I have to talk about Hamasaki Ayumi as well. Um, she's one of the other huge pop artists from uh, Fukuoka Prefecture. Uh, she had a massive career during the early 2000s. Uh, she's still going these days as well. Um, but I have to talk about M. That was one of the first big pop songs I learned from Japan when I was uh, in college. So it's been nostalgic for me as well. Um, I wanted to talk about Utada Hikaru as well. She's uh, pretty world famous now. Um, but she was born in America, so I, I couldn't really place her on this, uh, this kind of map voyage. Uh, but definitely check her out as well. Um, you might not have heard of any of these artists at all, so I thought I'd add one at the end from Alwyn Prefecture, which is um, Pico Taro. Have you heard this PPAP thing? I think even Justin Bieber was doing uh, stuff with this, so uh, yeah, please check out Pen Plain Apple Apple Pen. Um, <laughs> that's uh, a side of the kind of novelty songs of Japan that you might get into. Okay, right, okay, well, that's all from me. That was my whole trip, so I hope that was interesting. Um, please check out some of those artists that I'll, I'll really. Uh, be happy if you do that. So let's go go back to me. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. I hope that was interesting for you. I know I did that quite quickly, um, but you know I did that 47 prefectures um, uh, video a while ago, and that took forever. So um, I hope that was interesting. Check out some of that music. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If there's any other recommendations you've got, let me know. Um, please don't attack me. This is just my personal opinion. So whatever. Just uh, let me let me let me live. Um, but like I said, this is uh, the end of August. So please let me. Oh, please help me to get to 400 subscribers by sharing this channel, by subscribing, by commenting, liking, everything you can. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you very much. Um, okay, I'm going to rest my voice for a bit longer. So um, take care and see you next video. Okay, bye.